You want more referrals? I'll show you how to get more referrals today on this episode of The Dave Lorenzo Daily. I'm Dave Lorenzo, and I'm your host for the Dave Lorenzo Daily, and today we're talking about referrals. They're the gold standard. They're the best way for you to be introduced to a new client because the trust factor is multiplied by 10. That's right. When you're introduced from one client to a prospective client, the trust factor is multiplied by 10. The new prospective client is ready, willing, and able to do business with you because your referral source has already qualified them and your referral source has told them what a great person you are and how upstanding your character is and how you're the perfect person to solve their problem. Well, at least that's what your referral source should tell them after I teach you the five-step referral process that will result in you blowing away your sales goals for the month without ever talking to a new prospect. That's right. You don't ever have to do cold calling again. You don't ever have to worry about talking to a new prospect cold because your referral sources are going to introduce you to everybody you need to know. That's right. The people in your natural network are going to help you and you're never going to have to ever answer the question again, how do I get more referrals? That's today's episode. Before we get to that, I need to remind you that if you like what you hear today, I need you to hit the thumbs up and make sure you put in the comments what you wanna hear more of. Today's episode is coming directly from, it's ripped straight from the comments of my YouTube channel, The Dave Lorenzo Daily. People wanted to hear more about referrals and we're talking about them today. Also, please make sure you subscribe to The Dave Lorenzo Daily because we deliver great content for you on relationship-based sales every day. On Thursdays, we do an interview with someone who's killing it, who's absolutely blowing the doors off their sales goals, and you can benefit from those interviews, and we want you to know when we're doing them. We want you to know when we go live, so make sure you ring the bell. There's a bell up at the top of the YouTube channel. Ring that bell to make sure you get notifications after you subscribe so that you know when we're bringing more content to you. Okay, so let's talk about the five-step referral process that will help you blow away your quota without ever having to make a cold call again. Step number one is to deliver referrals to people the way you want to receive them. So you've got to go out, and my goal for you is to deliver two new referrals a day. I want you introducing people to one another at least two times a day, but you need to refer people the way you want to be referred. So if you want people to bring the prospects to your office, when you refer someone, you got to drag that person to their office. If you want email introductions, make email introductions to two new people every day. If you want people to connect you over the phone with your ideal prospect, you need to be connecting people over the phone. The goal is for you to refer two new people every day out, but do it in the way you want to receive referrals back. So that's the first step. Step number two, if you're referring two people out every day, that means that a week later, you're calling those people back to see how the referral went. And the call goes like this. Hey, Joe, it's Dave. I wanted to know how the introduction to Mr. Smith went. You know, I brought Mr. Smith to your office. He had a problem you can solve. Did you guys do business? Oh, you did? That's terrific. Then Joe is going to say thank you. And that's step three in the referral process. When Joe says thank you, you use this line. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. I know you do the same for me. That's step three. When Joe says thank you, you say, you're welcome. It's my pleasure. I know you do the same for me. The reason you're using that exact script is because you're telling them that you pass referrals all the time. So there's more where this came from. You're telling them you love to do that but you're also telling them that you know they do the same for you, which will prompt them to say, of course, and they'll ask you who they can introduce you to. Now, on the off chance they don't ask you, you say, would you like to hear who I'd like to meet? Joe, it's my pleasure. You're welcome. I know you do the same for me. 
Of course, Dave. I do the same for you. Joe, would you like to hear who I'd like to meet? Of course, Dave. Who would you like to meet? There you go. That's the third step. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. I know you'd do the same for me. They say, of course I would. Who would you like to meet? Or you say, would you like to hear who I'd like to meet? And then the fourth step is you be specific. And you give the exact name of a person you know they know. Now, you're going to say to me, hmm, Dave, how do I find out who they know? Well, the Internet. You do the Google dance. That's right. You do the Google dance. You go on LinkedIn and you find out exactly who they know. And you pick someone you want to meet who can deliver value to you or who could be a client. Now, you're going to give them the name. You're going to give them the position the person holds. You're going to give them the company name. You're also going to give them the business or industry they're in. I want to meet Frank Jones. He's the CEO of XYZ Company in the manufacturing of widgets industry. Why are you going to do that? On the off chance that this person just connected to them on LinkedIn, they don't really know them, they may know somebody else with that title in a different company. Or they may know someone else in that company but in a different position. Or they may not know anybody in that company or in that position, but they'll know somebody in that industry who's a good fit for you. You're giving them as much specific information as possible. Step four is to be specific. Ask for specific introductions. Okay, now step five is you're going to give them a listen for and a script for how to introduce you. So you say, Joe, I really appreciate you introducing me to Mr. Jones, who's the CEO of XYZ Company in the Humana Humana manufacturing industry. That is going to be terrific. I can't wait for uh, I can't wait to meet him. I'm so glad you're introducing me. Thank you. Just in case, I want you to listen for this specific problem. If anybody says they have trouble with blank, and then you say what they should be listening for. If you ever hear that, I want you to introduce me because I can do these three things to help them. Here's the thing. You give them a listen for, and you tell them what you can do. You're telling them the reason why you need to meet them. They have to have a reason why they're introducing you. They can't just introduce you out of thin air. They have to have a reason why. The fifth step in this process is to give them a listen for, for other people, and then to give them the reason why you want to meet them. That's step five. Let me run down those five steps for you once again. Step one, refer the way you want to receive referrals. So if you want an email introduction, make email introductions. You want someone coming to your office, bring the person to their office. You want a phone introduction, make phone introductions. Give the way you want to receive. Step two, follow up and see how the referral went. After you do that, go to step three. And that's when you follow up and they say, thank you. You say, you're welcome. It's my pleasure. I know you do the same for me. Do you want to hear who I'd like to meet if they don't prompt you? And then you go to step four and that's you be specific. You give them a name. You give them a title. You give them a company name. You tell them the reason why you want to meet them and you make sure they know what industry that company's in. That's step four. Then step five, you give them a listen for, and again, you reiterate the reason why. You tell them the reason why you want to meet this person. What problem can you solve for them? That's your five-step referral process. That's how to get referrals and sales. If you want more referrals, start doing this now. Pass two referrals today, tomorrow, every day after, and your business will explode. Until tomorrow, I'm Dave Lorenzo saying I hope you do this and sell more.